Um, James, uh, thank you for taking a your time to talk about the movie. I loved it. it, it I mean, it, to me, it was felt like a really throwback to Die Hard. And I'm going to talk that a little bit later. So again, thank you for taking a your time and congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. And I love, I love everything in the background over there, man. A lot of Star Wars. <laughs> I, have a, uh, I have a Star Wars tattoo right there. Look at that. That's awesome. We're both. Yeah. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also a Star Wars fan. So yeah. Let, let's talk about the movie. I loved it I, again, and I, and I, I hope you hope you agree with me. But I loved it because it felt such such, such a huge nod to the 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 Die Hard days, to those good those good times of cinema that we don't get those that, that much anymore. We don't get this this style of, this style of cinema that much. Was that something? When you spoke of really with, with Leon, was that something on the script, or or did you gave him some input? Let's do this this way because you have you 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 mean you're strong to this horror, but also you've been doing a lot of a lot of action movies. How did this get about? Well, so the one thing I'll I'll, I'll say is like for me, you know, um, I. I have a soft spot for like movies from the eighties and nineties, regardless. So like, you know, I, I just feel like it's, that's the best, you know, 20 years of, of film. Uh, <laughs> so like personally, like I just, everything I touch, I, I kind of go, Oh, I could do a throwback to this and this. And so like, I kind of like the feeling of that where like, you know, characters were larger than life and you had all this, you know, stuff going on. And so I, there was a challenge of like, how do I make this feel new, but also feel, feel like of that time at the same time. And, mm -hmm. and that's kind of what we did because I, I like to always throw back to that, you know, that time period. It's just, it's just kind of what I do, whether I was doing horror or, or action, you know, I, I, I kind of do that, but you know, this was my third movie with, uh, with Lionsgate and EFO. Um, and uh and you know after after fortress I, I was approached to do this and and i read the script and i thought wow this is really cool because i could almost do like you know phone booth meets saw and then give it like a little bit of a of a of a, a flavor of a uh of of like a like a 80s a 80s throwback film and i was like yo this is this would be awesome uh so that's kind of how i imagined it and uh, i i hopefully it translates to the screen <laughs> i i I can vouch for you. I think it translates. I mean, that that's the feel that I got throughout the whole movie. I also remember Fortress. You, you recorded that back in, in Puerto Rico, right up, back down here. So I, yeah. remember, I remember the look and feel of how, I, how, I, how, I, how it is. And I, I want to talk about balance because, uh, you know, your resume speaks of himself. You're a horror guy. Now you're doing action. How did you switch your brain to make sure okay i'm not doing a horror movie i know that's my thing but how do how do you switch yourself to make sure that okay i'm doing an actual movie now well you know as a filmmaker i like to just challenge myself regardless you know so i feel like i kind of did um like all the sub genres of horror uh you know i've been doing horror since i was 18 years old uh, my first feature at 18 and so you know i stopped doing horror really um about five years ago my last horror movie I shot was in 2017 I think uh and then from there uh I, I transitioned to action with my first action movie being Beyond the Law which starred uh DMX and Steven Seagal um at, which I did in 2018 and so you know I, I I kind of looked at that and 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 really kind of was in reinventing myself uh stylistically but also you know, I, I like to challenge myself. So, you know, it, it's, it's too easy falling into the same stylistic uh, stuff that I've done in the past. So I kind of try to approach everything brand new as like, you know, what is right for this specific film? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've never really looked at myself as like a horror filmmaker. I don't even look at myself as an action filmmaker. I look at myself as just like a filmmaker who happens to do certain genres. The next thing I'm tackling after this is I'm doing, you know, comedy. So, you know, let, let's see what, let's see what happens. <laughs> let's see if that feels like a horror movie or an action movie. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I, I absolutely love this movie. I think, I, I think that everything about it, it, it you, you did, you did the nail on the head with, with balancing 80s and 90s to making this more, uh, this much modern um, uh, hacker film, which is something also that I also love. I, I want to talk a little about the casting. The casting is great. Obviously, Mel Gibson, uh, a legend, Kevin Dillon, everybody. I mean, in China and the, 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 uh, How did the casting came about? Did you have any say? I, I'm thinking of this one. Can we get him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you know, uh, Mel, Mel was involved uh, very early on, uh, but, you know, like I, 
I really pushed for Shannon and Kevin and uh, and Michael uh, as well as like Michael Welch mm-hmm. and uh, and you know I was really and and I was really really pleased with with the casting of the film. I think overall, you know, it's a really great cast and uh, and I was really excited to work with a lot of the people on this. That's awesome. I mean, the cast is really good. I mean, let's talk about the mystery behind a lot of characters without going into details because you don't want to ruin the surprise. Uh, they're hints, so if people follow the story, you you may not see where where it come, where it, when where it's going. Um, but then at the end, obviously, everything gets, you know, get you get all the surprises at the end. How yeah, you get that Kaiser Soze? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get okay. So that, you no people are gonna go like, oh, that makes sense now. Now now you see it. Um, how 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 did you keep that? You know, on the wraps with the cast. This is always important for them obviously to know everything, but not to know all, all the different details, just to have also them have the genuine organic surprise. How did they, how did they, did they have reacted to the, to the twists and turns? Oh, I mean, the cast really loved the twists and turns. And, and, you know, there was a particular character that I had a lot of conversations with about, you know, the, the juxtaposition between the two versions of themselves, which I, I thought was a lot of uh, fun to, to deal with it's this is a hard question to answer without giving spoilers <laughs> i know i know i know it, but it, it, that's the problem when 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 interviews like this one because the the it's so it's so important to maintain the mystery because yeah. that's what makes the movies and that's what you get to oh yeah now this makes sense but i understand i understand let's talk about kevin dillon he did great and he was uh, fun he, KD right. is the man. He's he's really great at playing that every man. Like you know, I feel like he's an unbelievably relatable lead. You know, the he. I'm pretty sure that he was having fun during uh, the yeah. shooting of the whole process. Did he come up with any? You know, what what happened in set with him? Uh, uh, any 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 special things that happened that you're gonna put out there? Yeah, I mean, you know, Kevin Kevin really uh, I think really brought it the entire time. And and the first conversation him and I had. We're, you know, we both realized like, it, you know, it's as, as much as we want the inclination of him to like freak out the second he finds out he's in the hot seat, that would have given him nowhere to go acting wise because he would have been just freaking out the whole time. So instead, we, we kind of pulled him back and let it build as the intensity of the movie went on. And I thought that really like worked, uh, you know, Kev- Kevin really, really brought Uh, I think like a, a, a relatability and freshness mm-hmm. to the character because I feel like you know him him being in that seat felt like it could it could be anybody you know mm-hmm. what I mean it could be like mm-hmm. your every man of, of of the world and and I feel like he brought a very relatability which I think the 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 audience will connect with I think he did a, a fantastic job and and he really elevated the uh, the project yeah you know the you know the head I think Orlando Kevin was Orlando the character of Orlando it's 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 an everyday guy an everyday worker for Ted yeah. and, and and a lot of people want to relate to I also think the story I mean obviously we bring it up a, le- a level because it's Hollywood but still the, the story is something I feel a lot of people are gonna this happens all the time I mean ransomware is something that happens all the time and, and you know getting into that into that into that situation uh The, the, what what that's something the whole reality behind the story was that something that you, you really found attractive of, of of the project yeah i mean I, i i did find that attractive i also you know for me you know the reality based stuff of it was really exciting but for me i'm just like you know how do you i like challenges so when i'm mm-hmm. like you know how do you make a movie where a guy is literally strapped to a chair interesting and entertaining and, and intense yeah, but like that every- sounds like a challenge you know because So that's kind of what really drew me to it as well. because I was like, man, how do I make that cool? Mm-hmm. You know? And so I really went through and luckily I had like a really great script from, from Leon and, 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 and Colin that had like a lot of twists and turns. And so there was a lot there to, to, you know, deal with. But for me, I just thought it was really interesting to tackle something that like, you know, could easily have just been, you know, uh, shot in a, in a strange way. And I, I mm-hmm. thought, okay, how do you make this really interesting? And, mm-hmm. uh, and that's kind of where the whole idea process came from. Yeah, the, the, the movie goes flies by. I mean, the, the, even though we're in the same place, the whole, the whole movie, it, there's so many moving pieces that you just see a fly by. So that's something really positive about it. Um, one final question before I let you go. What, what, can, what, do you, what do you expect people to take away from the story besides having fun? I know they're going to have a lot of fun when, when they see it. 
Uh, you know, I'm hoping that people connect with Kevin and I'm hoping people like, you know, enjoy Mel's performance and, and you know, the comedy that he brings to it. And I'm hoping that, you know, they they just take the ride of, mm -hmm. of this you know, twisty, turny thriller and and hopefully we surprise them with that ending. <laughs> so to me, to me, it's one, this one of those movies that is the, the journey is what what's defined, defines that it. it's the journey yeah. you're going to take once you go see it. And 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 you you will enjoy it. That's that's it. So James, again, congratulations. I absolutely loved it. I, I, um, you, I, at the beginning of the interview, did you know that that's that's who I am. I, I am the '80s '90s guy. That's the, at, at those times. To me, '97 was the, one of the best years in cinema. So you know those times. Yeah. Are, we miss those times. So thank you. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you, man. Thank you.